on, everybody. Let's do this. Here we go. Hello Musketeers, welcome to Mondays with Mickey. My name is Mike Kanigi and I am your host. And this week we're going to look at a Disney Infinity toy box that I created. Um, as a huge fan of Walt Disney World, obviously. Uh, I went ahead and I wanted to create a toy box that reminded me of a Disney park. Now, um, the park that I built, it's not exactly as I hoped it would be. Unfortunately, the toy box does have limits as far as size and amount of things you can put in. But, you know, it's very reminiscent of a Walt Disney Park. You know, the main cornerstone piece of it being the Magic Kingdom. But it's like a expanded Magic Kingdom. You know, it has things from Epcot. It has things from Disneyland, Walt Disney World. Um, things that aren't in any Disney Park. Um, but I wanted to take a minute and share that with you. Uh, my son, Epic Franklin, and I are getting ready to give you a tour into my... Disney Park Toy Box. So, uh, take a look at it. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys after. Alright guys, well, welcome to my toy box. This is my Walt Disney World Toy Box. Mickey Mouse there on the screen is going to be controlled by Epic Franklin. Hello, guys! And, uh, what you're looking at is you're looking away from my Toy Box World. I used the, uh, tangled background just because I felt it was the most magical of the, of the backgrounds. I mean, you have Disney movies and all that and, and, and such that go really well with it. But since this is supposed to be like my version of Magic Kingdom or Disneyland or my my Disney Park, I wanted to make I wanted to make sure we stuck with the magical theme. So there's the background for Tangled. So Frank, if you want to turn around towards our uh, Walt Disney but World. Here's some warning. There will be some bad guys that are trying to kill me, so don't worry if I die. Uh. And get well, Frank's gonna do his best. I did put some bad guys in. I basically put a I, spawner. I filled out this world almost completely. There's hardly any room to do anything else at this point. So I did put some bad guys in, so that way if you're in there playing, you, you have something to fight and, and, and do things with. So Frank, if you want to go through the turnstiles, I set the turnstiles up kind of like Walt Disney World, where you know they're lower than the park, so you can't really see much of the castle from behind. And we're coming up on the main entrance, now I went through the turnstiles. Um, you know, like at the main entrance, you have the train. So I wanted to put a train in there. That's something that's actually rideable through the uh, game. Yes, um, it is. But it's there for right now, just for looks, but you can ride it. Welcome to Main Street. And Frank's already being attacked. Oh, no, not so I Now, this is not an exact replica of Main Street, obviously. But this is as close to Main Street as I could get it. There's no and, poppins, uh, I wish there was an able Put that in there. Yeah, that never that never came around. But you know, with the star pattern ground, uh, the flooring, because I, I wanted that coloring. Whoa. But ah! this is our main street. Frank, if you want to go ahead and do away with that robot, that'd be great. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. All right, let's go, go, go. All right, so we're walking down Main Street. You can kind of see the castle over the distance. Push, push. Yeah, it's push. Push. Um, in the distance, you've got. Uh, Cinderella's castle. So Frank, if you want to go up to and there's something go up into the hub there. there. Like I said, I want to make this kind of close to Walt Disney World. So you got, you know, little tables where people could eat and little stands. We're going to go to the hub first and we'll go from the hub around. So in the center of the hub, 
Like Walt Disney World in Florida, we have the partner statue. One of the cooler things that we got, uh, this was a uh, unlockable item if you use your magic bands. And we, you know, now that I have the partner statue, I absolutely had to have it in my Walt Disney World. So yeah, Frank, if you want to just do a quick look around, there you go, keep looking. Oh. So you can see the whole park from the hub. Well, that was really fast, but okay. So let's, like in Walt Disney World, let's go ahead and take a right and head over to uh, uh, Tomorrowland. And there's an enemy, which is probably... Well, let's leave them. Let's try to ignore the enemies as much as possible, Frank. Yeah, you can't ignore the enemies. So, this is not like a traditional Tomorrowland, other than having Space Mountain there. And this you know, I included the things that cool. aren't necessarily... Like, you got Flynn's Arcade there in the corner. Okay, and that building right there he's passing is from t the movie Tomorrowland. And got some Star Wars stuff. Got a Fallen at at. Or should we say Ray's house? Yeah, it's Ray's house from The Force Awakens. But it's a Fallen at at. You and got a Star Destroyer right there that you could play around with in right theory. There, it's something, something I don't remember what it's called. This thing at the very end is like a, a Asgard gate thing where you can um, summon bad guys from Asgard. Yeah, from basically from Thor. Giant. Um, that, that thing, that thing open. Yeah, if you click that, some bad guys will start appearing. And Over here, we got Adat and the landing platform from Star Wars. I'm going to go up there so you know. You can see, you can see inside. There's a sneaky way to get up. So look, Happen. Frank, try to climb up there. There you go. And Dad oh. didn't put more ads, but he just put this at it. Well, I had more stuff here originally, but because of constraints for room on the toy box, I had to take stuff out. You may want but yeah, that button will close up the ad at and okay. doesn't really do anything. Oh, I'm sorry, it opens up the things on the bottom, but or on the top. Anyway, it's something that you can play around with. And, and explore and figure out, but we're not here to, to play with the toys, we're just kind of showing the, the toy box. Eee! So here, you've got Space Mountain, which, you know, is a ride, uh, if you were to go inside it. And Frank, why don't you go ahead and go on in and, and, and show everybody what happens when you go into Space Mountain. You might hear some copyright music, so... Oh, well, you got copyright music going regardless, so... We're just going to go with it, and we're going to post it, and oh, hopefully not go. get... Hopefully we won't get dinged by Disney, but we'll see. So, he's working his way towards the entrance to Space Mountain. Okay, any enemies attacking me? Alright, so you've got yeah. different directions you can go. And watch so, this. Frank, just pick, the, pick a direction. If you can get up there. <laughs> there we go. Hey, but I, I had a spaceship in here and it went flying. What yeah, time? Frank once upon a time moved a ship in there from one of the Star Wars games so was able to get on the track to actually ride it through the Space Mountain. But it's a small space mountain, so you can't really bring anything big in there without it looking really silly. And the other but it shoots you at the top. And that's Space Mountain. Gotta have Space Mountain in Tomorrowland. Um, but let's go back around, and you'll see I've got Spaceship Earth. Now, granted, that's not really in Tomorrowland. Neither is a Star, star Destroyer or anything like that. Or not. But it made sense for Spaceship Earth to be in Tomorrowland. If it's going to be in one giant park... That's probably where it would have been. This isn't unfortunately a ride. I really wish it was. I it's just a, like a kind of a walkthrough thing. If I had an idea, I would take the, I would take this and actually build an actual ride inside. Well, that would be awesome. I put Spaceship Mountain right Space Mountain. here. Space Mountain right here. Right. And then me just walk right in. So to your right, that giant tower, Frank, you want to look up? There you go. Those who were uh, fans of the movie Tomorrowland will recognize the tower. That's the, the main tower in Tomorrowland in the movie. Uh, the one that holds that thing that tells the future. Well, it actually copies the future to make it like so people will be afraid. Yep, so Frank, if you want to turn and head on over to Adventureland. Adventureland? Which there sure. will be some adventure on the way. So Adventureland is kind of in the same place as the real Adventureland. You can go across the castle, which I'm going to do to get all the way to the Adventureland. If you want to do that, Frank, that'll work. 
And there's a little thing that Guy will tell us when we get there. It's the back. So let's just, yeah, you know, let's, let's, let's get over there first and uh, uh, uh. we'll check that out. Oh, I don't want to fall off. It's been so long since I've played this game. I like the way, the reason I chose, the big one of the other reasons I chose Tangled is I like the way the lighting works on everything. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Disney Alright, so we made it back to the hub. We kind of skipped a little bit just because we had a lot of running to do. Um, but Frank, if you want to go ahead and now turn left from the hub, head over to Adventureland. Let's check out Aladdin's Oasis. What do you think? I think that was a good idea. That's a good idea. All right. And that right there is where Mushu scared. Yep, it's the uh, firework pagoda from uh, Mulan. I think he made a Batman reference when he was up there. Ah, uh, yeah, he did. He did. Of your worst night. If you turn left straight from the hub, I believe it would have taken you to um, uh, Splash Mountain, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Splash Mountain. But we're gonna go to this oasis we created. We've got the Cave of Wonders. I took two of the Hands and put them side to side to give you kind of an entrance to this. Yeah, yeah. two tongues stick together and. Here, let's go on through. That. Right yep. There. That's cool because you got all the little <laughs> lanterns. And down here at the bottom of this hill is Aladdin's Oasis, tucked behind Main Street. Yeah, there's Main Street right there. Yep. And I am swimming. Got some water. Cool. I'm Yep. All right. So let's get out of the oasis. Head back up. Now, like I said, we filled this. I filled this toy box up. So there's only so much you can do. So there's certain things that I would love to have done. I would love to have surrounded this thing with trees and whatever to kind of make it secluded. I'd like to have put things on either side of the cave, so you know the person couldn't walk around the cave. They had to go through it. But I was limited by storage space, unfortunately, and fitting an entire Disney park into a toy box is kind of tough. It is a rival ride. Frank, why don't you go ahead and show them what it's like to ride on it? You can't yeah, ride it backwards. Yeah, let's not do it backwards. Let's do it the right way. So, hop on. This is how you ride it right. You ride backwards like we told you guys. It's a very short ride. It, it is pretty the, short. It's too fast. And whoa! It actually makes a splash. Alright. Jump off, whoop. Yeah, jump off, show them what's in there. And here's another way oh, to get out. For those who've ridden the ride, you get, you come down through one of the drops and you see the bees and everything. It's a pretty cool thing for them to add. And there's a door. Yeah, so let's head on straight through because then we can head on over to the next ride. So next on our list, we're, I'll leave it to Frank whether he wants to turn it on or not, but that's it's a small world. You're going to do it? I don't think it plays the actual music. It just puts on some trumpets or something. I hope it just puts on trumpets. Go back so we can see it. Well, you didn't go back fast enough. Oh, there, there they come. Look at these little guys. I want to get in there so I can get figure out if you can actually get trapped. Well, you probably can. But we're not going to do the trap right now. Let's not get trapped inside. It's a small world. Alright, so next ride up. Uh, it is. This is going to be... I, I want to ride up. This is Big Thunder. Oh, being attacked, Frank. Figure out who's attacking you. All right, let's go take care of that guy. It's, it's a turtle. Oh, I like turtles. I don't. Well, it's a pirate turtle. You might want to hurry up. Come, Frank. Yeah, right. Now I got all the experience. Yeah. The See, XP. And Mickey Mouse is one of those that didn't never got his own world. So the only place he gets experience is in the toy box, which is why I added bad guys. So that way you can get experience. This is uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which you can't have eventually without Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And an, it also makes music when you write it. Let's see. I think I'm writing it backwards. Yeah, I think you're writing it backwards too, but it's okay. Yeah. But it's still pretty cool, I mean. Alright, hop off. Hop off, hop off. Alright, 
right, so now we're on next two. over here, what we've got over here is two different things. You got Pride Rock. Actually, here, turn left. Okay, you know, that's just the shadow. All right. So, yeah, we've got Pride Rock, which isn't a ride. It's just really cool to have the Lion King Pride Rock, and I figured it kind of met with the thing. And then this last one here is not a Walt Disney World item, actually. It's actually um, the Matterhorn. So, Frank, if you want to ride the Matterhorn, go for it. And here's the way to, or here's the entrance. Yep, do it. And I don't know where this music came from. Whee! So it's supposed to be like the Matterhorn, so. Yeah, no! Ah! Oh, cool. we never and then you run over here near Pride Rock. And really far. You could set up another pipe starting there if you wanted to. And but you have to climb the mountain. You could. To get to the places you And oh, oh, ah. off before it's too late. <laughs> that's where I that's right. where we fell. Let's see where you're going. Can't see where you're walking. Oh, that's just a dead end. I thought this should be like a little secret little Well it could be if you wanted to set something up in there. But let's continue on. Whee! There you go. Now where are we going? All right, so let's head through. to the back of the castle. To Fantasyland. It is kind of like our Fantasyland. It's um, a miniature Fantasyland. It's full of trees. For those who've been to Walt Disney World, you know that they're right there behind the castle. Frank, if you want to turn left a little bit. You start getting into um, some of Fantasyland. Here is Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. You might think it's not. You might think it's another tree. If you climb, watch yeah, this. if you can get up there. Right? It took me a while there to get up there. There she is. Grandmother Willow. Is she, you can see her face there on the, on the did, tree trunk. Did, did, I wish you actually talked if you went up there. And here's something. From but those who... Let's leave... Or, well, I guess you have to fight Zerg's robot. You got, got your attention. Come on, Frank. Fight it. These things are tough. Yep. Just fight it, Frank. Okay, he's up. Uh, it's, it's infinity, so you can't die. Unless you're in the the worlds. You can die if you're in the world. Almost there. Keep going, Frank. Let's get up for it before it hits you again. There you go, good job. Alright, so let's continue on. Where are you going? That's something you threw. Alright, so is more bad guys. Alright, so what this is this is from uh, Brave. And for those who've been to Walt Disney World, you know that behind the I castle or over by the castle is um, a meet and greet with Merida. So I wanted to include something from Brave. Let Frank beat this guy up. I'm not, I'm not Flynn Rider. They don't care, Frank. Go ahead and beat it up quickly. And that's actually not uh, looking for Flynn. I think that's a, a bad guy from, um, well, he's got, he's got a frying pan, so I guess it is from Tangled. Frank, you can't see your bad guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not most wanted Mickey Mouse. Alright, so, the final thing right behind the castle is from Tangled. Well, actually, I take that back. Another thing that's right behind the castle is it's technically in front of uh, Prince Regal's carousel, but unfortunately that's not an option. So, you have the sword and the stone, which is pretty cool. And if you look to your right, Frank, you'll see the tower from Tangled. Now that is in Fantasyland in Walt Disney World, which is pretty cool. And what's very funny about this is you, you can were, take your you hair were, up to the top. If you were actually the character Rapunzel and you were climbing this, this would make no sense. Kind of, sort of, but it gives you a chance to get up to the top of the tower I and look really around. I really wish I had something inside so you can actually hop inside, but that's not an option. Alright, let's hop off. Whee! We've still got plenty to see in this Disney park. So let's head back into the other lands, Frank. This land? No, we're not heading to Tomorrowland. Behind the castle. There we go. Oh. The, so what we've got uh, here is we have the the covered bridge from Sleepy Hollow, and at the other end of the covered bridge would be something pretty cool. Little 2D. Frank, come on in. 
you've got the gates to Halloween Town. And here's and something that's in the game. It's in another park that that's actually. This is tech. This is this building behind it. Unfortunately, doesn't really do much. But what it is is it's the haunted mansion from Disneyland. Pretty cool. I kind of wish they had given the option, at least, of the Haunted Mansion from Walt Disney World, but... Wait, you can climb it? You know, at least it's cool to have. Yeah, you can climb it. But you can get to the top? Ooh. Yeah, in theory. And... So anyway, uh, you got the gates to Monsters, Inc. And what... Actually, that Monsters built University. Monsters University. And the uh, building right behind it. Although there were a lot of other buildings I wanted to put in, I wanted to at least get this building in. This is the scare school. This is the one biggest prop. Again, it yeah, it's a prop. It really doesn't do anything. They closed the doors. Closed. School is over for dogs. But it's still pretty cool. School is over for today. So let's continue on our Pixar uh, run. And Frank, if you want to go, yeah, what's right behind you? This land that we're getting ready to head to is actually from Disney's California Adventure. Something that our Florida guys have never seen in person. Unless they've gone out to California. I haven't been actually been to it, but I've seen about it. Exactly, same thing here. This actually is based off of my one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Now, if you're probably wondering, wow, there's a lot of running in this world. Well, that was the point. I could have tightened this thing up where everything was right next to each other, but I wanted the feel of a Disney park and how big it is. So if you're walking on foot, it takes time. You might recognize this. This might give it away. Just a little bit. But once we get closer, that it will definitely give it away right there. It's what, Monument Rock or something like that, I think it's called. And then, and then there's that. You can already see it. There's Flo's V8 Cafe. And that only means one thing. This is Cars Land! I had to make a Cars Land. And I put this in. There were more buildings for Cars Land. Unfortunately, there just weren't. There wasn't really enough, um, enough yeah, room again. I found out about this. This had vehicles in it, so you can yeah. actually drive. That thing spawns things. I put that there because, again, I could. I didn't have enough room in the toy box to put a bunch of vehicles Watch and things. What happens when I press this button? Frank's been wanting a vehicle because he doesn't like running. So let's go ahead and open up this vehicle. See what it is. Pick it up. And he's got a Tron car. All right, Frank, drive it around. Let's show him Cars Land, and then we'll head on to the special land that this park has. Oh, no, not yeah. that one. This is a little Tron car. See how quick it is? Don't, don't run off the edge. All right, so let's keep too it fast. slow. Too fast. It's not that it's too fast. It's just you can't control too it. Too fast. Stop attacking it. You can't destroy it, Frank, and you know that. Actually, there's no way to destroy them. They always respond. That's my point. There's no point. There's so let's let's walk around Cars Land, show them what the rest of Cars Land looks like. Here's Mater's Jam Marie. Yeah, Mater's Tow Mater's uh, Junkyard. Or we're not. We're not, again. We're not, let's not go in them, but let's just show them what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then over here. Oh, it's Mater. I would just put it in there. Let's head over to Luigi's Tires. And I think this is a separate prop. This is a prop. It is destructible. If you want to break it, go oh, for it. Sorry. But it'll, it'll, it'll fix itself because we're not going to save. So there's that. Um, it's actually... You got the Cozy Cone Motel over here. Again, we're not trying to go into any of these things, Frank. There's actually a button where this thing's open. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that these buildings can do. Like, these ooh, buildings are very interactive. Um... But for interest of time, we're not going to play with all of them. Uh, so here's the cozy cone. Yeah, you got Lightning McQueen. I think, you're, I think you can actually. So yes, if you're Lightning, you can open it up and get in there. So, Frank, let's let's go on to the next stuff. Well, we're, we're just showing everybody. We're just showing everybody the park. Yes. Again, we're just showing. Why is he in this? We're just show Frank. Stop. We're just showing everybody the park. We're not playing right now. Because you start breaking stuff. That's why it's smoking. So, come on, let's get out of there. Frank, come on, let's get out of there. I like the rising yellow smoke. Alright. So, we got Sarge's over here. And 
We're not going to go into Sarge's. We're just going to show it and go buy it. Again, we're not going in, Franklin. We got Fillmore's. Oh, it's good oil. Yeah, and we got Ramones go. over there. Ramones. Ramones Body Art. All these buildings are interactive. So, you know, whether you're playing a regular character like Mickey, or whether you're um, playing a character like one of the Cars characters, you can come over and, and have a lot of fun. And this is, so, I think you can actually put someone in there. Yes, you can, Frank. Like, so, Alright, let's go check out the special land that we created for this. I had no clue about this land until I created it for you. So why don't you go ahead and grab that vehicle thing you pulled out. Well, I wasn't talking about that one, but if you want to drive that one, that's fine. Uh, the, other, the other spawner you spawn accidentally. And let's throw it towards the new land so that way it opens up the direction you want to go. Because you're not the best driver. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got right, my driver's yet. Alright, let's go pick it up. Alright, towards your new land. Throw it. And it's... And it's... Not spawning for some reason. Alright, so... Nothing. Let's... You need to go grab the other car... Uh, or we we'll try one more time. Sometimes we do that. Again? Hmm. Probably because we have the other car out, Frank. So why don't you go ahead and get in the other car. Or I can just put it in the maker. No, we'll just, let's just grab the other car and go check it out. Oh, these things are fast. It is. So please do not run off the side of the, the thing. So, hop in, back her up. So, whoa, whoa. just lightly frank. Like, oh, mm, you scare fun. me. Alright, so, I'm we're almost. Mm, we're in the Tron car here. We're, we're almost back to Monsters U. We're about to go 88 miles per hour. Alright, yeah. and. Jump out. Alright, so here we go, Frank. Let's go check it out. This is a special land that makes no sense. This is Frank's world. I created for him. It's all kinds of stuff that he would like. And if, you're, if I know what this sign says, and it says... And if you're hearing a jingling sound, that would be Sam trying to make his presence known. And I don't know why Frank's going backwards. I'm sorry, I accidentally went over here. He's not paying attention. Here. All right, so here's gravity, the Gravity Falls sign. Frank's a big fan of Gravity Falls. And there's the Mystery, it's the mystery Shack. Shack. What's over here? So turn towards the back. There you go. You got Scrooge McDuck's vault. And if I press this button, I'm seeing the tree. Yeah, it opens up the top. And there's something that you can go all the way up to the top. No elevators. I, I know. It's a hard way to get up there. I was trying not to show every single thing and how it all works, but Frank seems obsessed with doing it. You can go inside. Yes, you can go inside Scrooge's Money Vault. And there's a secret behind the building. That's the wrong building, Frank. That, that, that's the Nice Landers building. <laughs> what Frank is climbing is the Nice Landers building from Wreck-It Ralph. I think this is how Ralph gets up. Oh, I have to, I stand, yeah, it is. But, because I'm a goof and I can't help myself, I, ha I had to put Gaston's, not Gaston's, but uh, Gusto's uh, sign from um, Ratatouille. So. I can't I can Oh, well. Alright, so there's that. What else is in the little world, Frank? Well, let's start off with um, something that probably well, likes, but somehow... Daddy put in. That building right there is, if I'm not mistaken, it's from Peter Pan. Yes. It's the house where the um, the kids live. If I had Tinkerbell, I'll fly up to the top of the yeah. ship. Again, I apologize for the bell. My cat is in super cat mode, so he's it's like all over the place. Mode. So, alright. And here starts That's Tower. Avengers Tower. I can't see it unless I can go he's backwards. Too, he's too close. Yeah. And here's a thing I like, which. Yeah, his mystery shack. The mystery shack and uh, Avengers he, Tower. Yeah, can, there you go, Frank. Avengers Tower. And then when we go to this side of the track, it actually is the mystery shack. Yeah. But wait, why is the S up there? It's supposed to be not there if I'm not mistaken. Uh, who knows? This is what uh way Infinity put it in. So let's go around and see what else we got in here. Wait, let's see, we've got nothing. Yep. Yeah. Alright. 
Come on. You put more sails. More attention to the rest of the park, not just the district shack, right? Yeah. Turn right. Let's look at the other buildings. We've got some building, a couple buildings from The Incredibles. Which is the. Got the jail. Got the command center over there. We've got. Um, I forget what that one is. And we got a, a lighthouse, which I thought was kind of a cool thing there at the tip of the park. That lighthouse. Now these are all interactive. All these buildings, so. You can actually have time in this park playing around and having fun. So you turn, you turn the power off. Oh no! And you ran out of time. Alright, so let's get out of there, Frank. Exactly. You can escape anyway, it's not hard. You have the Hall yeah. of Heroes. Yeah, what's this? I put a lot of stuff from the Incredibles over here. here. This was incredible. I put a lot of stuff in the Incredibles over here so that way you can kind of play around with stuff and, and have fun. Um, but we're not going to hang out over here. Let's go check out the rest of the stuff, right? Here is a, here's a fight training. Mm -hmm. and, and, and because I know Frank is a big fan of Phineas and Ferb, as soon as he's done pressing buttons, we'll go show you the Phineas and Ferb stuff I put in for him. <laughs> Frank likes to press buttons if you can't tell. I We're just supposed to be looking at stuff, and he can't help himself. He has to press buttons. Is so, things from my favorite? Yep. Then he has some furb. You got the water park. And there's a way to get up. Which the water park's pretty cool. Um, there's a straight There's a pole over here if he's wanting to climb and go up there. You can't climb the poles. You can't climb. No, not these poles. That. You can climb that. So. Takes you, it's a rope, takes you up here, and, and then... And there's a purple one, but if you don't want the purple Yeah, there's, 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 diff there's different, there's taller ones. And here. There's the red one. Now, which one should I choose, red or green? So, you choose, Frank. It's up to you. You're the one up there. Mm, I'm going to go for the red one, which is longer. All right, let's do it. Come on. But it's pretty cool because, like I said, you got a little water park. Oh, I'm on the Disney has its water now. park. Yeah, you know, on the purple. All right. Now, next to it is Doofenshmirtz Tower. Doofenshmirtz Incorporated. Yep. And there's another button. Yeah, Frank has a thing for buttons. In case you had to figure this out, I think it opens up the top, right? Yeah. Can't see it from here, he's too close to the tower. Oh, and here's the mob spawner. Yeah, this is the bad guy spawner. I do not like this thing. But, you know, it keeps you keeps it active, keeps you things gives you things to do. I don't know if you noticed before the dude from Short Tower had like a dome over it and now the dome's open so you can get into it. That's freaking. So alright. I do, I wanna put a helicopter to make it fly. And I do not want to push that button. So Frank, if you wanna just kinda of come to the edge here and just kinda of look up over the whole oh, no. world. He activated the thing. All right, Frank. Let, let's let's stop pressing buttons and just kind of stop there and, and kind of look over the entire world. This is my Walt Disney World, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if we had more time, obviously this video has gone long as it is. If we had more time, we could go and show you how to play everything. We could get in a second player in there and show you how you can battle bad guys, ride different rides. Um, I mean, you can see Frank was just supposed to do a, a walkthrough and show you everything, just kind of let you look at it, but even he couldn't help but, like, actually press buttons and try to play with some of the stuff, so, you know, although it's not what I wished it could be, I really wish I could make it a fully fleshed out Walt Disney World type thing, uh, it's still pretty cool, it's as close as we can get, at least in the current format for Disney Infinity. Uh, I truly wish they were going to do more games, because every time... They put out a new game. The, the toy boxes got even better and better. You could do more and more with them. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you all in just a second. And drum mode. Alright everybody, welcome back. I hope you really enjoyed it. You know, we enjoyed making it. You know, It was a little longer than we wanted to go. But we really wanted you guys to see the size of this toy box. You know, I wanted to make sure that it was a giant toy box. That made you feel like if you walk through it, like you're walking through a Disney park because it's not small in scale. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'm going to leave you as I leave you every week. Walt said it best. I hope we never lose sight of one thing. This was all started by a mouse. Thank you so much for watching this week, and we'll see you guys next time.